What's up? What's up, man? It's your boy MB here, man. Let's unbox a larger subwoofer. Let's unbox the DC audio. Uh, let me get this going right here. Get, uh, let's unbox the DC audio level 310. Now, I love DC audio products for one, they're designed to play in small enclosures, very, very small enclosures. Uh, this 10, if I'm not, if not mistaken, you can play in one cube. They also have 12s that can play in 1.5. DSC Audio problem prides themselves on sound quality loud. Get loud, but sound good in doing so. Now, I've had the 8 on the channel. I wanted to put this 10 on the channel. And I've had this 10 for a while. And I told you my niche was 8 and 6 and a half. That's predominantly what I'm going to stay. But because I'm also a DC audio dealer, let me show you some of the performance what their what the larger subs can do from that brand, and sh show you what my box can do with these larger subs. So when you open it up, you get the oh, this is nice, the DC audio built with pride because it's made here in America. And that's what I like. Uh, some globally sourced parts, parts but this sub was handmade in America. Quality control, so you actually get to see who actually built your subwoof when it was ordered. This is a nice card start card showing the XL sub, and I'm gonna try to get one of those on the channel as well. And uh, and uh, looking at the amplifiers now, the amplifiers I believe are sourced from from overseas, uh, same build house that a lot of people use, good people use over in Korea. DC audio sticker. Carbon on top to protect the cone. Oh, nice. Like the phone packaging to make sure the wolf is just to you correctly. To sit the basket and sit the wolf inside. That's nice. And yeah, let's get this beautiful boy out. Uh, so we can look at it and go over some of these features. Oh, yeah, I like that. Like that, Rusty. I like to put that around the motor. That's nice. More phone packaging. So we can see he gives you very good packaging on the subwoofer to let you know this ain't coming off a machine packaging. Still wrapping it by hand. You can see with the twist for sure because there's no machine that's tying this up. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of here. And let's let's go some of the features. Ah, I have his website up so we can read them all as well. Weave them together. Uh, let's go here. All right. Extremely rigid, non-pressed paper cone assembly. Multi-layer polymer foam surround. Polyprene dust cap with DC logo. Dual 8-inch outer semi semi-cut progressive roll spider. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Heavy-duty tensile leaves sewn into the spider. Casimir black frame for no but no invert mount on this. No invert mount on this is not recommended. FEA optimized optimized motor assembly, fully CNC machined, rubber gasket, chrome spring push terminals, three inch aluminum voice cone former on a black alanized. I not I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but I know it's used for heat dissipation and to make it non-conductive. So you want to have that on the phone in your former. Unrubber magnetic boot, which is embossed with the DC logo. I don't know if you want to. That's nice. So let me look at it myself. I, I like the lip on this surround. Yes, I love I love surrounds to have this lip. Not that big round U, but this lip. It gives it, it gives it the punchiness that I like. Now I know there's features that you can order uh as well on this 10. Like you can change getting it from a dealer such as myself let me get this back so y'all can see this woofer pretty good uh, yeah you can get a uh, dust cap on the 15 18 you can get a carbon fiber dust cap the logo colors can be changed uh, you can get an AR SPL cone and surround option as well let me see make sure you can, that we can get this on the 10 yes you can get down on the 10 that gives it even more punch if you're going for output, just maximum output. Remember, all DCR products are geared for sound quality. Sound quality loud, though, okay? But if you want even more, he can strengthen it. Only 1518 models, 
you can get a carbon fiber cone, which will lighten the MMS and make it even more impactful with the motor force. Okay? You get an extra spider. That's available on the 10, 12, and 15. You can get the level 4 upgrade uh, voice core package. So you can get a level 4, uh, which I believe is, I might be, I don't know what core that is, but it's a bigger core that you can get on this level 3 sub. You can get uh, your OFC wires. They can get any length you want, one foot, two foot, three foot, four foot. So you can get no, if some people want no connectivity from the amplifier to the sub. So they offer that you can get with push terminals as it comes stock from I and many other distributors, or you can get it with the uh, tensor lead, direct lead options, direct lead options. SBL neck option to reinforce the, the, the triple joint. You can get that as an option as well. I see a I like how this voice core looks. It's actually robust. It is a copper voice core. What kind of voice core is this? It'd be nice to know. It don't look like copper. It looks, it looks like aluminum. Uh, yeah, aluminum. High temp aluminum voice core. Yeah, nice. It's pure heat dissipation. I wish I could get my finger in here. And see if he just uses one spider or two. No, it's two spiders. So he has a spider on each landing. There's a spider here up top and a spider on the bottom. Nice, good, clean heat of glue. Nice, thick tensile leaves. Like they would accept for sure 10 gauge wire. Like the man in the boot. Ooh, ooh, love, look at the cooling on this boy. Oh, man, look at that cooling. That's nice, ain't it? Level 310. Now, these sub uh, range in 280. From different manufacturers from two eighty to three hundred and twenty dollars, and then you got other options you can get them as well. And if you can get upgraded, you go through a dealer. Uh, some people just sell the stock, but this is nice. This is a very nice subwoofer. I like that three inch voice core, ten inch. Now this is something they can fit behind the seat of a mega cab, and it's possible. That's possible. Let's look at the cutout. Uh, let me look at this cutout here. Uh, come here, boy. Da, 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 da. And look at some of these parameters. Yes. What's called three inches? Displacement point one five. Uh da, 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 da. we always uh, suggested put a box one cubic feet. I'm trying to get the dimensions. The cut oh the whole diameter, nine point three five. Mm. Now that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Well, most 10 inches only have a 9 inch cutout or 9 and a quarter. This is um, this is 9 and 3 eighths. So that's a nice basket. <laughs> nice basket. Now, we know this 12 foot basket design is not original. However, there's different sizes to them. Some are 9, some are 9 and a quarter, some are 9. This is 9 and 3 quarters. So that's pretty big. You got a lot of cone area. I like the fact that he didn't give you that big, stupid toilet bowl surround to give you more cone. So let's see it do some free air sweeps right now. Let's see it do some free air sweeps. So we're going to wire this boy up. Hmm. I like this drive. What do you think about it, baby? You like how I look? Put this in the Mega Cab. You could put this in some trucks if you want to get that three and a half inch seat lift. All right. Yeah, oh, we got it here. Let me face it this way. I don't know if y'all can see it. See that excursion. Mm -hmm. Let's start at 10 hertz. What's the frequency response? Is he telling his frequency response? He's not giving that. It's a thousand watts RMS. He didn't give the frequency response, so we're going to test it right here. Let's go. There we go. Ooh. Oh, do y'all hear that? Hmm. Definitely more power booted, boy. But it's definitely that response. Okay. Oh, my. Man, that sounds good. So we had. Hmm. Right now we're counting up to 20, and we can see the response. Do y'all see the response? 
Let's give it some more power. Man, it's a, it's a nice driver. Woo! <laughs> that's my that's my mids and eyes. Let me disconnect. There we go. That's nice. 12 hertz. 12 hertz. This is 11. Oh, you can't hit nothing below that anyway. So that's really said get out there, man. Where we at? Okay. Let's go 20 hertz to 35. Very quiet, ain't it, baby? Hmm. Oh, this is nice. This boy sound good. Huh? Pretty quiet, ain't it? Well, let's go over and figure it. Let's go 35 to 65. That's me, that's me, that's me. I'm clipping, I'm clipping. I'm clipping. That was me. That was all me. That was not the sub. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. Mm. Y'all can see, if you rewind that video back, y'all can see when it was clipping, you see all that dimpling in the surround? That's clip power, that's called that coil rock. It's not going linear back and forth, it's starting to rock because the power, the signal has got squared off. When the signal is round on both, both ends of the cycle, the coil will move linearly. When it's well, scores, when, the, when the cycle starts to square off, then you call that core rock, which is called distortion. Let's see to do it again. Y'all really want to see it move? Let's see it move 45 to 65. There we go. That's about all I can get on the power supply I have. I go any further than this, it's going to go. Maybe one more click. Maybe one. I think right there. Anything more than that is going to be clipped. The sine wave is going to be clipped off. You see that? You see the dimpling? That means I'm clipping. Core rod. Right? There we go. Now we're not clipping. Nice, good, clean power. You see that? See this clip right here? Watch this. Boom. Now we're at clean power. No core rod. So this is all the power that's had to give right here. Hmm. For the amplifier, it's been powered by waterfall gate, twelve point one. But I can clip it. When you see all that dimpling surround, that's core rock. Cause now that it's not moving linear, this is a very quiet drive. When you see nice, good, clean power to it. Yeah, I see that. Let me see if I get that close up to you. So we're gonna put this in the box. See what it sound like. I expect big things. It's DC audio, hand quiet driver. If you want to get this driver, please contact me. Check out the short I'm gonna do on this video on this as well. After you see this this this, this video here, now, this is nice. These are very good. Now these are not entry level tens. A thousand watt RMS and not entry level. Looking at one and level one, level two. When you get to this level, you can go in and out the lanes. It can be nice for a daily driver. Those who have limited space, you only got two cubes. Why don't you throw a ten in there instead of throwing an eight in there? Why don't you throw a ten in there? And these, I'm, I'm gonna build a box so you can hear these things sound great, man. All DC Audio products sound wonderful, man. The eights sound wonderful, DC Audio M3 eights. And maybe Rust is in the lab trying to come out with something else. Another eight, put his, put his hand into the big Super 8 form. This wolf is very, very quiet. Yeah, I like that, I know I love it. Mm. I might put it on the power five there in the truck. Just see it throw more power. They can see it move without without distorting. Mm. They got the phone vibrating over here. <laughs> nice and quiet. Ain't that nice? All right, get me if you need to enclose it for any DC Audio product. And if you want to buy a DC Audio product, get me as well. The number is 404-694-4818. And as always, please listen responsibly. What you in there for me, baby?